and we realized that all the pain and heartache of Greg's brother leaving had turned to good. Steve was full of youthful energy and optimism. He didn't know that running the farm on his own would be nearly impossible, and it was a good thing. <laughs> because he did it with help from John Ferry. Greg's brother was so stressed when he left the farm. And who knows what the accident may have done to him if he had been here with us. And without Ange, I would have missed the ambulance. Casey and I would have had to drive ourselves to upstate. We wouldn't have had anyone in that moment to take care of us. But she was there. And she wouldn't have been if Steve and Ange hadn't come home. <clears throat> so on the surgical recovery floor, Greg had his collarbone surgically repaired. Third surgery. And they had to cut back his pain meds. And because of all the broken ribs, every time they had to move him, he cried out in pain. It took three nurses to roll him on one side, and then the other to change bandages. He would beg them to roll him back down onto his back. And the nurses hurried, and tears ran down their faces. And you know it's bad when the nurses cry. He couldn't get out of bed. He